What's up Suns Army, Darth Pascal here to bring you another Star Wars video. Now I know things are kind of a mess around here, we're still unpacking even though we've been here a week and a half. You have a box here, you got the broken apex wheel right there, some like soccer scarves, just stuff all over. I know it's a mess. So this is going to be the last week of just kind of random videos and apparently the third week in a row of Star Wars videos. But I was so excited about this announcement that I wanted to do a video completely dedicated to the newest Star Wars game announced, Star Wars Squadron. I wanted to do a video on it, so the video I had for today ready to release, I'm pushing back to either this Saturday or next Monday. I haven't decided yet. I don't know if you guys like the bonus videos. Actually, comment down below if you guys like the bonus videos or if you just want me to stick to just Monday videos. Let me know. Okay, so this Star Wars game looks really cool, right? Now, I want to make something clear though. This footage is not gameplay. It's just in-game footage. So they're using the engine and cutscenes to create this footage. So this isn't actually what the gameplay is going to look like. It might be a variant of something like this. But I am very excited and we know enough about this game to have our first impressions even though we don't have gameplay. We know stuff about the gameplay, the single player, the multiplayer, when it takes place. We know enough about it for me to have my impressions, and I want to see what you guys' impressions of the game so far are. Anyways, I'm Darth Pascal, and welcome to Suns Gaming. To Suns So last decade, the 2010s were by far the worst decade for Star Wars games since the 1980s. But Star Wars Squadrons should be absolutely honored. This will be the first game released this decade, the first Star Wars game of the 2020s. And it will also be newcomers EA Motive's first game they exclusively developed. The only game they previously worked on was Battlefront 2, and as I've stated before, I love Star Wars Battlefront 2. But the weakest part about Battlefront 2, in my opinion, is the space battles. It just feels boring and gets stale very quickly. Judging off of the trailer for this game, with no actual gameplay to go off of, it looks like it will be very similar to the space portions of Battlefront 2's campaign, and I would be surprised if the multiplayer was very different from Battlefront 2's as well. And it looks like EA knows that people would easily figure out that this isn't quote a complete game because at the launch of the game, it will only be $40. Now the story of the game will take place sometime after Return of the Jedi and will focus on the pilots from the remains of the Empire and the newly formed New Republic. Now that's not what fans really want to see either. This story has already been told with the campaign from Battlefront 2 and I don't know about you but I'm already sick of post Return of the Jedi Star Wars. I'm not saying it's not a good idea but I wish we had gotten something more original and less done. It's still better than basing it on the sequel era, am I right? So, seems pretty negative so far, but I do have some positives to say too. This will be the first non-arcade Star Wars game that actually focuses on space battles since 2003 with the last Rogue Squadrons game. That is something to be excited about for sure. The second thing to be excited about, as I said before, it's only $40, but on top of that contains no microtransactions whatsoever. All cosmetics will be gained through progression exclusively. Next, and I don't necessarily think this is the case, but this could be the long-awaited sequel or spiritual sequel to the X-Wing and TIE Fighter games that were popular on the PC in the 90s. Those games succeeded because of the realistic ways it portrayed flying in a starfighter. If this game can accomplish that, it will be a success as well. The last thing that I'm excited about is this game will offer several different multiplayer modes as well. The problem with Battlefront 2's starfighter modes was there was little diversity or creativity. So if this game's multiplayer modes are creative and diverse, then I can see it being a fun time with friends. Maybe not your multiplayer game for the next year, but something that will satisfy you and your friends for a few weeks, maybe even months. Okay, so let's recap really quick. Here's what I'm skeptical about. An unoriginal story, it's a new and young developer, possibly recycled gameplay from Battlefront 2's worst game mode. And here's what I'm hopeful about. It's a cheap price tag at only $40, it could be a spiritual successor to old space sim games, and it might have diverse multiplayer modes, and especially this, no microtransactions. So could this be an amazing Star Wars game? Time will tell. How hopeful am I? Uh, about a 6 out of 10.
Comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Drop a like because you're so nice. Thanks y'all for watching. I'm Darth Pascal, and may the force be with you. Oh, that was so lame.